Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm making a video about, you know, how a VPN can protect your IP address. Do you really need a VPN? What can someone do with your IP address if they do find it? I actually got this uh, idea from a Reddit thread um, where some guy was asking this very question. So if you're wondering about this, you're not alone. And we're going to be investigating this thread and reading some of their replies since I thought it was pretty interesting as well as my thoughts on this. So I will be talking about this more in the video, but one way to hide your IP address and ensure nothing happens is to use a VPN. Check out vpntierless.com for my opinion on the best VPNs. Everyone is ranked here if you click on this button. Not only that, but I would also recommend a data privacy tool called datasealed.io. Click on the link in the description down below use the promo code or click on the link here on vpn tier list this tool will remove your information from data brokers to ensure nobody finds out your real life information anyways guys let's get into the video and the dangers of if someone gets your ip address so guys first of all this is the reddit thread and what the guy is asking if someone got my ip address is there anything they can do I'm sure you guys have probably wondered this exact same thing, and maybe this is even the reason you have got a VPN service. Now with VPNs, they can definitely protect your IP address. Basically what you're doing is tunneling your internet traffic through a VPN's remote servers. A lot of people say, you know, hey, why would I use a VPN? I'm just trusting some other middleman instead of my internet service provider. Well, if you do your research and pick a good VPN, usually they're a privacy company, not an internet service provider, which are notorious for selling your data, collecting all sorts of information about you and selling it to the highest bidder. If you pick a good VPN, they're not going to do that. Not only that, but they're going to give you a shared anonymous IP address, which means you're using a different IP address that cannot be located from random websites and other people. But there's also going to be other people using the IP address, which adds to an anonymity factor of that shared IP address. But if we're looking at what people say, you know, if someone does find your IP address, what can they really do with it? Is it really that big of a deal? This guy says, serious answer. IP address can be used to find a location of your nearest data center. This could be anywhere from one kilometer to 50 kilometers, depending if you're in a city or rural destination. On the networking side, your address can be used to send messages to your network. For example, they could send many messages overloading your router, DDoS, or denial of a service attack. Worst case scenario, they could exploit a bug to take control part of your network. They link to this thing where it's talking about um, take vulnerable routers offline. Worst case, uh, finally, they could look into database breaches to find out if there's any email passwords tied to your IP address. So that's actually a really good point. And some of the comments were talking about that. So this one is talking about router vulnerability, and it does point to the fact that you should always use secure routers. Try to use new routers, routers that have updates make sure to always use secure passwords with your routers and like i said make sure to keep them up to date usually it's pretty simple to go into the router setting and update it some of the even more smarter routers nowadays even have applications where you can update them which is pretty cool stuff like arrow and stuff like that so that's pretty cool what some people even do is use vpn routers which is basically a router like you could use something like even like an asus router you can have a vpn configuration put onto that it's basically going to anonymize everyone's ip that's connected Connected to that router which is pretty cool um, there's even companies like private router from TorGuard, which sells routers where you can um, they're kind of like pre flash with their own software so that's pretty cool for hiding your IP as well so that's also a neat trick to do another thing he mentioned was looking up data breach base breaches and stuff like that so let's say um, you got docs or something like that um, someone could post any passwords or anything like that tied to your IP address. If they look up your IP address, they could find that information. So it's kind of something to think about as well. So basically, how would this work though? Let, let's say someone gets your IP address or how would they get it? Well, this guy gives a good lay down. He says, I obtain your IP address by emailing your image, which is hosted on my server. That will give this person the geographical location so they can know where you're from. I could cross email, uh, cross reference your email with your identity on some social platform like Facebook. So let's say they know you're in like Los Angeles and they know your email, they could look something on Facebook like that email in Los Angeles. So then they could therefore kind of work on finding your identity. The IP address in this sense is kind of just like a piece of the puzzle and it could be one way to de-anonymize you. A lots of people say, hey, you don't need a VPN, you know, 
but honestly protect your ip address online is a pretty good anonymity tool uh, in and of itself so i do think there is worth there Sp anytime you comment on a website anytime you go to a website anytime you're going to a private website self-hosted website you're pretty much going to be showing them your ip address aka your real world location aka some of these other things if you input your email or anything like that could be used to de-anonymize you so take that into consideration guys this guy says vp engage 24 7 what were you saying this guy doesn't really seem to know what he's talking about ip is still ip doesn't matter if it's coming from isp or vpn he clearly doesn't understand that when you're using a vpn you're not using your uh real ip essentially what you're showing the internet is a different ip or an ip given from your vpn therefore anonymizing you so this guy talks about as a whole, the IP address isn't that useful. It's more of just like a piece of a puzzle that can correlate with other info and becomes quite useful. So think about that. This guy talks about depending on your country and may use to be revealed your identity to law enforcement. Um, so definitely that's something that could be a concern too. If you commit something illegal, it could be used to trace you down through your ISP as well. Overall, guys, is it a big deal if you give up your IP address? Well, I wouldn't say it's a nail in the coffin. You just need to make sure your router software is up to date, you have secure passwords, and you, it could not be used to de-anonymize you in the real world. One way you can do this is to make sure that a lot of the data brokers don't have your information. If someone finds your IP address, they could know your general location. And if they find your email or something like that, they could be look, look up your name and kind of de-anonymize you that way. So I would recommend using something like dataseal.io, which you can find in the link down below with a promo code as well. This is going to remove all your information from data brokers. So if someone is on that path to de-anonymize you, that is a service I would recommend. Not only that, but perhaps more importantly to stop all this in the first place you want to be using a vpn to hide your ip address to hide that piece of the puzzle is a vpn going to totally anonymize you to the world 100 percent? no but it's going to make that piece of the puzzle kind of obfuscated so if you're wondering which vpn to use check the ones in the description down below or on vpn tierless.com where pretty much rated every single vpn anyways guys thanks for checking out this video and i'll see you again very soon